Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Sephora loves list. If you don't know what this is, it's a section on your phone and the app or I'm sure on the website as well. I normally just use it on my phone, but it's in the Sephora list where you can like create a love list. A lot of people might use it for like um, if they just love a product. I specifically like to use it for uh, products that I'm like wanting to get or I'm like not sure about and stuff like that. So if you're interested to see some products that I would want, go ahead and keep watching. So I don't have a huge, huge list, but I have a pretty good variety of skincare and makeup. And so uh, let's go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so first off, this is like kind of an older product, but um, this is the Custom Enhance Drops. Um, more specifically, I'd like to try the Sun Kiss shade. I hear Kathleen Lights talk about all the time how she uses it kind of for like a bronzer. And it just looks so, so pretty and so... I would love to try it out. Um, I would put the pictures up above, but because there's so many, um, for some reason the program I use doesn't let me put like multiple pictures back to back to back. So um, I'm just gonna have to show them on my phone this time. So I hope that's okay. But um, that is my first thing on the list. My second thing, um, I don't use toner all the time, but I love the Fresh skincare line. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration um, Facial Toner is what it looks like it comes in this huge jar and it has real rose petals in it it says it's great for dry skin it's alcohol free infused with real rose petals to remove uh, residual impurities refine the appearance of pores and soften skin for healthy looking complexion like isn't that everything we want i think so <laughs> so that looks really pretty um next i hear a lot of people talking about this and i'm like on the fence about it it's the Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray by Glam Glow. Um, it's a makeup setting spray, but I've heard a lot of people say it doesn't really um, set your makeup down. It just kind of like melts everything together and stuff like that. Which I kind of want to pick it up, but it's like that's what MAC Fix Plus does. And I already have it, but I still kind of want it. But I don't know, so I'm kind of on the fence about that. And I've heard the smell of it, it smells really, really good. I might just pick up like a travel size to see what I think about it. But um, I don't know, we'll see. The next is, and maybe y'all can help me with this, this is the Clarisonic, one of their heads for the Clarisonic. It's the Uplift Firming Massage Head. It looks like this. Um, I really wanted to pick this up uh, with my gift card that I got for Christmas, but I'm not sure. Like, it doesn't actually say in the um, detail section, but I'm not sure if it will fit on my Clarisonic. I've heard it's only good for the Smart Profile Clarisonic, and if that's the case, I don't have that. And I'm obviously not gonna buy one just so I can have this head. But it's supposed to be really good to kind of um, give your face a massage and it adds like some firmness and it helps with texture. And so I definitely would love to pick it up, but I don't know if it'll fit mine. I just have the Mia 2 or the Mia 1, I can't remember. But um, I don't have the Smart Profile and I don't know if this will fit on it. So if y'all know, leave a comment below to help me out, please. Next thing on my list, this is the Marc Jacobs, one of their iconic palettes. This one is in the shade Provocateur, Provocateur. Um, it has like some pinky shades into it. Let me kind of zoom in. There you go. It's got like that bright pink and stuff like that. I have their Glam Vision palette and I love it. Um, I'm just not sure if I want to get this color or not. I love the pink shades, but it's like, am I going to use it all the time? Probably not. <laughs> Next, this is also Marc Jacobs. It's their um, Lamarck Liquid Lip Cream. I haven't heard anybody talk about these, but I love all of Marc Jacobs products, so I'm sure I'd love it too. I specifically want to try the shade Slow Burn. I have the lipstick in Slow Burn, and I love that shade, and if I could get it in a liquid lipstick, that would be amazing. I just don't know if they're super long-lasting, or if it's just like one of those things that um, it just kind of like leaves a stain or what, so... um. If y'all know anything about it, let me know. Another thing, this is like super hyped up. This is the Sali um, Unicorn Essence. And I'm interested in either one, the unicorn or the original one. But um, a lot of people use this. You'll see them like on Instagram, like dripping down their face and everything. And it's like crazy. But um, it's supposed to add a lot of hydration. I don't want it necessarily as like a primer. I want it more as a skincare item because I've heard it's really great to help with texture. So, um, that's one of the things I've been looking at. Next, um, you'll notice in my skincare, pretty much everything I'm looking for is, like, 
either for hydration or to help with texture because that is what I want so bad. But um, this is the First Day Beauty 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask. This is what it looks like. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about it and some of its claims it says a multitasking single step facial in a jar that helps perfect the appearance of skin in five targeted ways nourishing calming visibly firming plumping and refining in as little as 10 minutes sounds awesome <laughs> some of these products as well i might not have picked up because of the price tag i obviously can't afford to get everything i want um but it's still on my love list <laughs> Um, this is a makeup item. It's the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I don't know if you probably can't tell, but the wand is very similar to Too Faced Better Than Sex, which was my favorite for so long, but then I just noticed that at the end of the day, it was like smudging and flaking, and I've heard this is comparable, but doesn't flake, so if y'all know about that, definitely let me know, because I would love to try it. Okay, next, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Code Palette, and I like sighed there because I'm like so on the fence. I can't tell you how many times I almost picked this up. This is what it looks like right here. It's got this beautiful packaging that's like gold on half of it, and the other half is like chocolate. And it's got, um, it's really up my alley because it has only like five matte shades, just like your basic mattes, and the rest are all metallic. My problem is in the chocolate palettes like they're metallic or they're glitter shades or shimmer shades or whatever you want to call them are not that pigmented they're like pretty like neutral which is great but i really like really glam glitter looks and i have heard a lot of great reviews on these and i've swatched them and i'm like eh, and it might do better on a primer underneath i don't know i want it so bad though but i just like i don't know if i want it i don't know if it's really worth it or not uh, let me know if y'all think it's worth it. Next is like, I'm just gonna like show you one product, but it's kind of like three products in one. It's just um, the Becca blushes in general. I've never tried a Becca blush. Um, I really want to try their Shimmering Skin Perfector Luminous Blushes. Um, I really want to try Foxglove, Camella, and Snapdragon, which is like an orchid, a pink shade, and a coral shade. Um, I'm just really interested. I wish they would come out with like some minis or something. Because I don't want to like fork over that much money for like all the blushes obviously. If I was to get one it would just be one. So if you'll have them and you like them let me know. And tell me what shade I should get if I get one. Next uh, kind of the same thing. It's the Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte Lipsticks. I've heard a couple people talk about these but not really too many. Um, I'm just interested if it's in a good formula or what. I really want to try the Cloud Pink shade. Here's a picture of it. And then the other shade I really want to try is Nude Pink. So I'm really into like pink lips. So, But um, those are the shades I want to try. Next is the Laneige or Laneige. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, it's their water sleeping mask. I have their um, lip sleeping mask and it is amazing. It is so moisturizing. Like you put it on at night and the next morning you can still feel it and it's not like greasy or anything like that but it is so nice and if it's anything like this then i want it so bad plus these are like really horrible prices like this is 25 dollars for 2.3 ounces that's really great next i am um kind of interested in these vanish flash highlighting sticks by hourglass i have their vanish stick foundation which is amazing and I'm really specifically um, want to try the shade Champagne Flash. This is what it looks like. It comes in a stick. It's like a cream formula. I saw um, Madison Miller, I think it was on YouTube, do like a whole review on this. She got in her PR package. Oh my gosh, they look stunning. So I definitely kind of want to pick that up. I'm a highlighter fanatic. Next, something I'm really interested in, this is the Dior Skin Forever Undercover Foundation. I haven't heard anybody talk about it. It looks like this. I have the uh, Forever Foundation. Um, it's just called the Forever Foundation, not the Undercover. So I don't know if there's a difference, if maybe this is even better for dry skin maybe. Um, I'm really interested to try it out because I do love the other Dior foundation I have. So I'm interested in that. And last but not least, I really want to get this, and I almost did get it, but I can't find it in stock anywhere in Sephora's, and they don't carry it at Ulta. This is the Origin, and I love Origin skincare line. Um, it's their retexturizing mask with rose clay. 
this is what it looks like it's supposed to really help with texture and like firming and stuff like that which is something i'm really interested in and so um, i'm hoping i can pick that up someday if not at least get a sample of it because i love 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 to try it so um that is all the stuff on my love list that i'm like looking forward to buying or skeptical on if you have some products that you feel that way about too go ahead and list them below thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe bye